know, and I learned stuff from Gene, like stuff like, you know, like War Machine's a great song, right? You know, you got... Now, your instinct might be to play it with vibrato. No. <laughs> you know, with Gene, it's like... Get what I'm saying? Really, that sounds like Godzilla. And it's really interesting how just... Well, that, and that's what he is, you know, Gene, Gene's like this on stage, you know. Um, well, his bass playing, he's very underrated as a bassist. He's a terrific bass player. And believe me, uh, every note, I mean, I know I, I was showboating a little bit, taking credit for, you know, Psycho Circus playing the bass on that. But I'm imitating Gene doing, you know, if he was in Who, in The Who, you know what I mean? But I was thinking Gene. And any time I've played bass... On a ballad, I get it, Paul, I would do the demo and Paul would say, you play the bass because Gene might sound too heavy-handed because he's just an aggressive bass player. But very melodic, all the, all the lines that he does is very, very cool and most people don't, don't even really notice how, how busy he gets. I love imitating him on the bass, it's a lot of fun. You got to have a lot of distortion, which is fun. You know, he, he loved Jack Bruce, you know, and, and Paul McCartney, you know, and, and um, just... And, it was just a real, real, real treat to watch him, you know, be that way. But, but his point of view about guitar and, and everything, you know, I, 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 it's hard to explain everything, but he likes it to be snotty, you know what I mean? He always wanted things uh, uniquely, like when we did... Uh, on uh, Carnival of Souls. So here we go with a little bit of Domino from Revenge. <laughs> Imagine Gene's voice here. 